Yeah, we, we go, yeah, we, we well, and, uh, Thank you. Hello, hello. We're waiting on you, yeah? It's okay? Thank you, sweetie. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hi. Welcome to Rescue Spa and welcome to Facebook Live event. I am Danuta Mielok. I'm the founder of Rescue Spa. And today we are celebrating an amazing day because I have amazing beauty experts with me who are going to share the fall winter skincare rituals and skincare tips. First of all, I would like to introduce Dr. Alush. A lady, a bad doctor is here. A bad doctor is here. I, I call Dr. Alush my uh, professional father. Come on, Dami. Professional brother. Yes. And uh, I, I really own a lot Dr. Alush. So he's a founder of Biologic Research. He's the owner of Biologic Research. He is amazing, a uh, wealth of knowledge, and he's going to share and uh, answer all, some of your questions. And also he's going to introduce this amazing uh, new program, VAP program, as well as the PHAIM mask, which we're all excited about. Um, then I have to introduce um, Ashley Waterf Waterford. She's a um, senior editor in, um, of um, Into the Gloss, which we all love, yeah. of course. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> uh, Lindsay Peoples, I've known Lindsay for a long time. She's an editor-in-chief now of Teen Vogue, so it's like, bravo, Lindsay. She's an also amazing a wealth of knowledge, anything beauty. And uh, Lindsay Kellner, senior uh, wellness and beauty um, expert and editor of Mind Body Green. Also, Lindsay Kellner um, um, co authored this book that I started like, looking at. It's a new book, it's called Spirit Almanac. So, welcome everybody. And uh, I'm going to pass on the mic to Dr. Alush because I think Dr. Alush should start. We're going to put scared. him on a spot as a. <laughs> So much woman, I yeah. so <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very shy, so <laughs> let's try, let's try. Take a breath with me. Take a breath, take a breath. All of you, I will explain to you after, come on. Take a deep breath, I should do that. We are oxygenating ourselves. And our brain sometimes also, let's do. Why is I'm doing that? Because we are speaking about today, about the VIPO2 line, the oxygen. I just want to say something because, you know, it's sometimes in the mind of the consumer, they're going and they say, oh, if I put the product on my, on, on my skin, then the oxygen will go inside the skin and go all over the system. Oh my God, it's great. We're not frogs. <laughs> We're not frogs. We're not frogs, we are uh, human. We breathing with our lungs. So when we're putting a product with oxygen on the top of the skin, it's not because it's going to penetrate the skin. You know what? I have something to share. Awful. Halloween. If the oxygen penetrates the skin, it becomes onion superoxide and is a free radical destroying everything. Better not going through the skin. So oxygen products are here to enhance, to be you know to concentrate the oxygen on the surface of the skin and help the cell to flourish. That's what about. So we took a breath, and uh, let's take some VIPO2 as well. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, I'm here, you know, um, you know, it's quite, I'm here to answer to your question, what you have in mind about skincare, about your routine, how to do skincare and makeup, make it together, uh, you know, all the kind of question you have in mind, I'm here, and I try, I will try all my best to answer you. I am a mad, yeah. <laughs> I am mad for sure. For, for sure. So any question you have that is like more scientific or anything like that, he's totally capable of answering whether, for example, I am I'm more like hands-on kind of experience. So, so you do not like this. they have a, a, a wealth of knowledge from just trying every single product, 
I think, right? Am I right? Yes. I think you guys tried Ooh. most of the products in, uh, and they can differentiate the textures, the products, and they've been loving Dilogic Recherche, which we kind of probably will focus on that a little bit extra today with having Dr. Alush. And so any questions later on will be, uh, um, we are here to answer. So, so maybe now we can pass on to. Yeah. Well, I do have a question for you, but I'll ask you later. But I'm dying. Do you want to just speak to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you later in front of, well, I can ask you now. I'm just like, I'm very, I'm very curious. What is your skincare routine like? Because you have access to like these amazing products. So I'm just, what do you do every day? You know what? I love to cook. Okay. <laughs> it's true. I love to cook. I, to I, I love to cook. You know what it is interesting with that line? It's like you can, thank you. Yeah, you came home. Yay. Yeah. So you know what? You know what? What, what, it, makes, what it makes the things very, very, very interesting. You can play with the product. You can mix up the te texture. You put a drop of this, a drop of this. It's, it's like cooking. So what I'm doing, my routine, there's no routine. Because every day I'm changing, I'm mad scientist, right? So every day I'm changing my routine. And you know, I try. You know, it's a, it's a question also. It's, it's a little bit of a question of feeling, you know? Skincare is serious. But also you have what you like as kind of texture. And what is good with the line is true. We can change. And first of all, you know, we are. We were the first to do hyper customized treatment, so it really depend. It really depend of your of your skin instant. You know, for many years, that's interesting to share with you guys. For many years, we were putting the skin into boxes. Before you put it, okay, yeah, yeah. so you put the skin into boxes. You are dry oil life. You know, you are you, yeah, you are oily all your life. I mean, if you are 75 years old, that your skin is ser I mean, 80, 90, very dry. You oily because we were in the box of oily. So the skin is, is unbelievable, unbelievable biodynamic organ. It's changing constantly from the morning to the night. In the morning, you can go, you can go for work, and then your, your skin is extremely dry, and at night, it's full of sebum, and it's reactive. In the morning, reactive, sometimes you have another day, you know, and then, you know. So there's no really a routine. This is why we need experts. We need beauticians. We need doctors who are extremely well trained in the brand. You cannot go on the shelf and pick up your product like that. Or, you know, it's not. It's impossible. But, but what is good, it's you can, you can change. You know, I always say to my students in med school, I say, you know what? Surprise the skin, but don't be surprised by the skin, please. So you can surprise the skin. You can change all the time the regimen according to what your uh, uh, prescriptor is. Uh, is, is is giving you, your prescriber is giving you. Yeah, I think Dr. Dr. Alush is talking about um, surprising the skin because the entire anti-aging concept is of stimulating the skin and actually getting skin to produce new healthy collagen. So you do need to introduce new things. That's why we're talking at the change of the season, we're talking about different products. That's why Biologic Recherche is constantly innovating and recreating and, and bringing a new product so we don't get um, uh, used to using the same products. But at the same time, you need to be aware of it, of skin functions and basics. And that's where Biologic Recherche is remarkable. And that's when I fall in love with Biologic Recherche um, 25 years ago or even more now I'm thinking about it, because it had a system. It, that's where I learned how you need to cleanse. That's how I learn and learn where you, if you don't cleanse your skin properly, you're leaving whatever right now, we're using so much sunscreen, so much makeup. If you don't remove that makeup, if you don't prepare a proper cleansing, you are missing out. You might be putting $1,000 worth of oh, yeah. products over it, but it's no preparation. So Biologic has a different stages, and I love to kind of always introduce uh, the stages. It's, uh, first is a treatment stage. It's the stage where you cleanse, uh, double cleanse, but your skin never feels dry. Your skin never feels overly um, sensitive or anything like that. Then you follow with your toner and you change your toners. You have, a, you have a, a different types of toners depending on your skin instant, which is the skin of the moment. Because today you might be sensitive to, uh, or pregnant or nursing or going through certain therapies or, uh, or the season is changing or anything like that. So that's why there's many P50s. So you change into the P50 stage. 
which is, which is the preparation stage. And then there is a booster stage. And uh, the booster stage is really so important because it kind of it gives you that extra uh, oomph that you, we need after. And uh, out of the boosters, my favorite is MC110. And then you go into masking. While you're masking, you, that's when you address, like, oh, today I'm going to do hydrating mask. Tomorrow I'm going to do, tomorrow I'm going to do Generally. maybe more purifying. And you know what? I've been out today all day in, in the city, and I might need some detoxifying and kind of recuperating. So you, you, you sort of balance that out. And then after the masking, you go into quintessential serums, which meant to repair, regenerate, uh, put back all what you've sort of removed. And then after that, you're applying your moisturizer and finishing serums. So there is no, no other line out there that created this so many stages, and yet they all super, super important. If you skip, for me as an expert, if you skip stage, if you skip a proper cleansing, it, you're missing out. If you skip the preparation stage where you're preparing your skin for expensive or inexpensive even, but wonderful products that are fallow, you're skipping out. So in my experience, most people, most of us, always kind of skip out on the, ba on the basics. So I like to change them and, and keep that. So I think I'm going to stop talking. I just wanted to introduce that concept of it. And then I'm going to... just want to add something. You, you, we need to know if you're single or... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry. No, go ahead. No, no. You, know, the, you know what? You know what? The, the problem is sometimes, that's uh, to share with you, sometimes we're leaving the mask during the night. This is why I'm asking if you are. It's true. It works so well. It's like a pure luxury. Like, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, just, but if you're single that night, because it's going to be. No, it's true. You can use the product. No, it's, no, no. Just to be sure. You know, sometimes it's nice to smile, you know. <laughs> to have fun a little bit, but it's extremely serious. If you can keep the mask at night during the whole night, this is another story, right? Especially if Totally. I'm going to pass on the mic. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> I loved it. I, I always learn so much when I'm with you. <laughs> but like, but speaking to, you know, ch changing your routine, you know, surprising your skin with something new, I think like, you, you, you know, you touched on something that was something that I really didn't know or recognize would be beneficial t to my skin until a few years ago. But I do think there is, there is a power in giving your skin a little like X factor every now and then and like changing it up with like either, you know, a special mask or a special serum or something to sort of give it a little shock, give it a little life. Um, and then also I think you have to, pay attention and listen to your skin, which is another thing that I really didn't consider until relatively recently. There is this sort of idea of, of putting your skin into a box. And like, you know, I remember growing up, I mean, I was you know, such a huge magazine girl. Like I would always go straight to the beauty section and say, okay, I have oily skin and therefore I'm only gonna do like what the oily skin column tells me what to do and that's it. But you know, as I've gotten older, that's not the whole picture. And sometimes my skin is super oily, sometimes it's drier, and it especially changes as the seasons change. And it changes, you know, depending on how I'm doing. Like I've been, so for like the, I don't know, like past like few weeks, I've been like, I've had a cold. I'm sorry, <laughs> so sorry, I'm so close. <laughs> but like, you know, I had a cold, I, you know, the runny nose, whole thing. And so it's annoying, something as simple as literally blowing my nose, like my nose is all gross and flaky, and it's just a matter of changing and, and like recognizing those things. Not true. <laughs> and like recognizing that, you know, your, your skin is different on every single day. So lately I've been like boosting up on my hyaluronic acid and like making sure that like I'm not being, I'm not being super harsh to my skin because it's already going through a lot. I'm assaulting it with like tissue every day. So, you know, it's, I, I think there is, I think there is a certain power of, of recognizing that your skin isn't just one thing. There isn't just like one category that you should be paying attention to. You should just find 
find, you know, what works for you. Try different things. Your, you know, certain parts of your face may be a certain way compared to like, you know, the perimeter of your face or something like that. Um, but I'm not gonna, okay, so I, I'm not gonna hog the mic, but I, I'm dying to know what one of the, both of the Lindsay's have to say about your routine. Hi. Um, I think I was just going to say also I think it's been really helpful when every time I've come here in Danuta we've had like long conversations just about being patient with your skin because I think a lot of times um, like my skin will go through like really drastic phases of like really breaking out and then really clear like just all over the place sometimes but just I think that a lot of times um, like Ashley and I would we'll talk about like different beauty articles and like headlines and stuff like that and everybody wants to sell you this like oh this will like cure everything this fixes everything um, but Biologique yeah. really it really works but it takes time just like everything but I really um, I feel like every time we always talk about it it's like oh wait like that's why because like I'm actually like dedicating and actually like figuring out the process of like getting my skin better and not just like a quick fix of a drying lotion and then whatever and actually like fixing my skin overall um, and making things better. So I think that's always like something that I like to keep in mind too because you can come to these events and listen to everybody kind of tell you things but at the end of the day like I'm still following a routine. Like I am still dedicated. I still have to like put in a lot of work. Ashley be the first person to tell you like she puts in a lot of work. We have every, like, I don't think anyone, if you want good skin, is just like, oh, I'll just use one thing and I'm done. Um, but that's really why I think Biologique has really been amazing because there's a lot of different things when my skin is going through changes, like even when it is acting crazy, it comes back and it's fine. And I'm, like, I'm not like destroying my skin and not being super harsh. So that's my spiel for now. Yeah, I love that. Um, one of the reasons I, I love Biologique too is because I, I tend to try to keep my routine as natural as possible. And there's a, a, a lot in natural beauty about, oh, like what is natural, what is not, what is good for you, what is not. And, you know, going for products that are made in Europe and formulated in Europe, Europe bans 1,300 ingredients from their cosmetics, and the US bans 11. So to to choose a brand that's made in Europe is um, a, a really easy way to, to choose something that's a little bit more natural and a little bit more healthy for your skin. Um, and I think, you know, to, to both of your points, like skincare is self-care and like putting in the work, you know, having 10 minutes at the end of every day and, you know, doing a little face massage or a, a little toner or a little mask or, or whatever it is that you're going to do, um, you know, I think that it is, it is a lot of work. And we were talking about how regimented Ashley is about her skincare routine. Um, but I think that, you know, it's, it, it is a nice time to kind of settle down at the end of the day. If you work in New York City and things are really stressful, you can kind of use skincare as a, as a portal for, for self-care and, and to kind of wind down. to share with something with you guys. There was a study, very interesting study from uh, Harvard University. They were measuring the size of your chromosome, okay? In the chromosome, a part of the chromosome which is responsible, you know, the heredity to pass, the heredity, you know, an heritage for the whole human being, but also from your family, for your parents, you know. A part of the chromosome, we call that telomere, it's the part of the chromosome which is totally blind. There's nothing, it's not coding for anything. Those telomeres have become shorter and shorter during the aging process. And at one point, when you have a division of cells, then if there's no space of telomere, you will lose a part of the real chromosome with a real message, you know, the, the heredity. For example, for coding for this, coding for these important proteins. So what's happening, they did the study, they run the study, extremely interesting study. They showed that if you have a massage, or if you have a facial, even one, when they met the study after 10 days, they find out that the chromosome for the replication of certain cell, you know, they do the cell from the saliva, they detect the, they turn the chromosome, and they find out that the, 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 the chromosome is growing. Growing by what? By the pleasure, by the joy, by the health, by the happiness. That's, can you believe that? So the best anti-aging, we know all of us, the best anti-aging is what? Happiness. Yeah. 
good skincare too, huh? Come on. Yeah, so I think uh, for me, I always call about uh, intuition. Uh, so the, the factor how we feel inside, it's always super important how we feel outside and uh, so anytime one is stressed you know we see like more breakouts the skin is drier it's more sensitive and so forth so every single day I feel like we all have to struggle to start a new day which I, which we should start a new day which yes. means you beginning you are rested you look in a mirror that was the night and I'm starting over so even for myself recently, I've done some videos or something like that, and I'm like, oh my God, I do so many steps in those videos. But then, <laughs> so then the first thing I did was like, okay, I'm going in front of the mirror and I'm doing all my steps. Because we all have to kind of inspire oneself to, to do better every day. So is it a uh, exercise? Is it a healthy diet? Is it a... Um, uh, looking at your skin, what your skin needs at that moment, just maybe taking that five minutes, oops, my skin is dry now going into fall and I mean today we have beautiful days so, so that's not the day to, to judge but the first cold winter uh, it, we start feeling our skin is parched. So the whole winter uh, regimen and fall regimen we have to think about how we seal the moisture in and how we re energize and put nutrients back into the skin. So, so yes, you don't have maybe as much sun exposure to worry about, but you have the dryness. Dryness inside because of the um, AC and, uh, and the heating systems, dryness outside. So the most important thing is really layering your serums. So after the cleansing and, with, and toning, which is non-negotiable, I think we need to focus on and actually uh, applying more richer products, layering those products almost like a, our clothing, and then um, uh, really uh, in order to retain the moisture loss, Dr. Alouche has few pro uh, made few products called uh, TEWL. It's, um, it's to retain the moisture in and all that stuff. Also today we'll be talking a little bit, I think Dr. Alush, we're gonna be showing um, a little bit of um, the oxygenating line uh, that we have. So I think I wanted to, make, to pay attention to that because in the winter too, we are all exposed. I started living in New York full time, uh, almost full time now a year ago and the uh, pollution here is so much different. It's no wonder New Yorkers are wearing, wearing black because you know all other clothing is just getting dirty really quickly. And the first thing you think about in the imagine, evening imagine, is taking a shower. So something I didn't experience uh, even living in Philadelphia, which is only two hours away, seriously. So I think the oxygenation and all that is really um, an important factor. So should we show the, the, the yeah. little movie maybe? How are we doing yeah, it's that? it's an interesting movie. You will yeah. see that we are really in danger we endanger not, on, not only our skin, but we, we are endangering not our skin, but we are endangering the species itself from the particles and from the pollution. So we made a, a, a interesting uh, videos showing what is a particle, what is a pollution, and what are you know what the VIP O2 line can do for that. You know, there's no miracle. This is what you have to understand. There's no miracle. There's a lot of science. There's a lot of knowledge from the statistician. So this is why we need also the beautiful and magic hand and knowledge of the esthetician to help with the product. And you know, behind also the brand, which is nice, we have a lot of consumer, a lot of consumer education. How to put the product, as you say, as you put the product, you massage. You, the worst thing you can do to share with you one day, a Vogue magazine asked me that in, Paris, in France, you, doctor, what is the worst things you can do? What is the worst things you can do to your skin? Quickly. No, 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 no. There's something, believe me, there's something for women especially. I mean, man can depend. But no, going to the bed without taking off your makeup. That's the, you know why? Why? Because the skin needs to breathe during the night. This is where all the, the mechanism of growing the cells, replicating the cells, getting back a nice, fully functional epidermis to protect yourself. If you're putting a patch of makeup, bye. <laughs> My mom used to say, if you don't take your makeup off, you are 
older by seven days, and I never went to bed with my mind. So that sounds in my head. <laughs> sound? <laughs> problem with the, the audio that's so bad because the movie is so interesting about the pollution what the pollution does to people um, do can we do can we do things that online at all yeah D disconnect the speaker I leave the movie on You have to understand what we're talking about, the pollution. There's many different factors. But one of the worst, you know, uh, starting today, I mean, starting this year, the World Health Organization said that the lung cancer, the lung cancer is the first killer. A big part of it is because of the smoke, but also of the smoke, of the fog, of the pollution. And the worst of the pollution, it is the particles. Particles are uh, provocating uh, a lot of uh, uh, inflammation, constantly inflammating, you know, the whole legs, constantly inflammated, the throat as well, the nose, and it's give a bed for different diseases and also for the lung cancer. So a big part of the pollution is absorbed, it goes into our system through our legs. But it is about one third to two fourths depend of the schools that going through the skin itself. The particles are 40 times tinier than the osteum folliculum, the, the, the follicles itself. So it goes easily inside the follicle, inside the follicle du the duct, clocks the for and on the top of that, which is even worse, drama, it's the hydrocarbons from, you know, from the pollutant, from the, the cars, from the whole things. Those hydrocarbons are mixing up with your sebum because they are oil based and make your sebum extremely they make your sebum extremely sensitive. You, are very, you become sensitive to your own sebum. This is why in industrialized country with pollution, you get a lot of rosacea. It's one of the reasons, I mean, there's aridity, there's different factors for the rosacea, but for sure, when you, the pollution is one of the causes of rosacea.
cancer is more important, but rosacea. Skin cancer as well. Hydrocarbon, we find out today that the skin cancer switching from the melanocarcinoma, you know, the, 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 you know to other cancer. They were not killers, they become killers. Our skin is endangered, our space is endangered from the pollution. So you would say, oh, you could, you could say, so using skincare product, I mean, you're not gonna stop the whole things, you know, for, for sure. But it's not true. Because as the skin is responsible for one third or two fourths, depending on school, that, uh, you know, penetration of pollutant into the system, and especially, you know what? Oh, yes, I have something to share with you. Scalp. You know why scalp? First of all, we're putting out tons of crazy product. Not very good, full of chemical. Make, you know, your skin, you know, make your scalp extremely, you know, and how many times during the day we scratch our scalp? So, and the size of the follicles in the side, it's very, very, very big, you know, for the hair. Bigger than there, thanks God. So, it is a way also the scalp has to be treated. This is the part of the treatment of biological share. So we have a full range, not only the range for the home, I mean, home, you know, your homework, but also in, 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 in the salon, in the spa, we have a very special, it actually it's extremely nice. I mean, it is, it's a very special foam. We do a lot of different techniques, you know. Biologic recherche is about not only the product, it's a lot of techniques. Coming from chronic CH2, osteopathy, it's very complicated. Fascia therapy, all kind of different things. We try to integrate as much as different techniques to show, I mean, you know, we are so obsessed by what? By the results. And then the product comes to help us. It's, you know, it's really uh, very interesting. So for the, for the VIP O2 line, we have professional treatment with this very special foam that you crack. You, you hear all this, it's phenomenal. And then you have also the home regimen, which is ex extremely important, with that beautiful mask, with a lay VIP O2, the mask, and then the serum, I mean, and then the, the, the cream, and then the serum, I mean, and then the serum VIP O2. So, so, so the oxygenating treatment is really amazing uh, this time of the year because we just want to sort of detoxify our skin from all the summer sunscreen and stuff like uh, and stuff like that that we are using on our face and kind of start fresh at every season. You just want to start fresh, and oxygenating line is uh, so gentle, but yet it's kind of rebalancing. So. In terms of skincare, I always think of it, how can we balance our skin? So when it's too oily, we need to balance it out so it's less. When it's too dry, we wanna balance it out so it's, so it's somehow the skin struggles throughout the day and, and throughout our life to stay in balance. So ex oxygenating a system, the way it's developed is really uh, more targeted to balancing the skin to put the moisture back, but yet to create a certain shield. So, yes, so the, exactly. So with that shield, you're protecting your face from, um, from the oxygenation and from the pollution. When I was in Korea, like the first thing that I've noticed, some uh, days, everyone was wearing a face mask. You know, so in, in Seoul, where like everything is like so magnificent and, and modern, like, people have like all kinds of face masks that are like very creative and fashion yes. forward. And you know, thinking about that in a city like New York, probably sooner or later, it's already I've been seeing here and there, but sooner or later we'll probably be doing that just to protect ourselves in, a, in a, you know, in, in from pollution, and depending on the day, you know, we have to kind of check the way the pollution um, is going on. But the, the best way to protect yourself because our face is really exposed every day, uh, it's not only to wear sunscreen, but to wear uh, a really good skincare that is directly um, helping our skin to protect our itself. Because skin is capable to protect itself, but it, ha it needs a certain environment. That's good. Well, I was, I was just gonna say, um, I really, I really do like the, the VIP line, like the, the mask, the cleanser. Um, although right now I, I think um, I'm, I'm like on an all liquid skincare diet. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, it's weird because for, you were talking earlier about, you know, the importance of layering and I've sort of done that more and I, and I do that more, um, especially when it gets colder in the fall and the winter, um, where I, to me, I think it's actually personally 
more valuable instead of like having one thick cream as soon as like the temperatures drop to moisturizing yeah. your skin to like actually be a little bit more thoughtful about it and to layer lighter weight um, formulas. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm still I'm still a little sick. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think it's a. I think it's actually more helpful um, and actually more hydrating and longer lasting to you know st you know tone first and then do you know your essence maybe and then do a, you know, a couple of serums. That's that's what I started doing as soon as like I don't know maybe midway September when I noticed that like oh it's it's not as humid as it used to be. I can't rely on the humidity to sort of like give me that little extra boost of moisture every day. I have to put it in myself. And I actually and I actually encourage a lot of people to, you know, just try that, you know, for yourself if you're noticing some sort of dryness like around, you know, your face around especially around this time of year instead of just reaching for the heaviest cream that you can think of. Which will you know will give you, in my experience, temporary hydration, temporary moisture, but it's not as long lasting as when you layer up and you know you sort of like lock in all those like good ingredients on your skin. Um, yeah, I think that's sort of like what I do. But yeah, you're the same way. Diana, you're gonna have to correct me because I don't know which one you put me on. There's a Velma. <laughs> <laughs> The Velma, what is the name of it? The Renewing Pack? <laughs> Shit's great, I love that. Um, but I started mixing that with the Biologique moisturizer, but, <laughs> sorry. Well, I, I mean, it works, <laughs> a little bit. I don't do it every day though. She did tell me, not every day. She was like, didn't you tell me, didn't you tell me like twice a week? We talked about this, yeah. But. I feel like my skin right now, it just needed a little extra. But yeah, it, I mean, I feel like I don't use like a big like scoop of it. It's just like a little bit, a little moisture. And then I put some, the um, jade roller, you know, just veg out, just spend time with yourself. It's you great. jade roll? I did not know that. Yeah, I do. Do you do it while you're like watching TV? I think that's like relaxing. Oh yeah. yeah. I do that or I'll do um, that, mas that massage tool just like, have a good have a good time. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. It's nice. Ah, yeah. Ah. Hey. Yeah. Hello. yeah. Hello. Those are great. You came prepared. Those are great. <laughs> you have to clean them though. Make sure you clean them when you use them. I do. I'm just sort of getting into these tools. They're fun. Here, you, they're, sorry, they're, they are fun. No, it's good. I mean, I was gonna say I think my my skincare routine really transformed when I came to see Danuna because she did this kind of, I don't know who has had a facial here, but this kind of like massage thing that was like, yeah, this thing. And you know, you're talking about, and that had, it's all about the technique. And I think that my skin actually really changed because we're moving the lymph around. And I feel like this time of year, that's really important. Along with the tools for sure. <laughs> Wait, what's, the, okay, so this one has a different shape though. Like, yeah, so you... they're a little bit different. So this one, you can, I mean, the, you can do them different ways, but this one I like to use on your jawline. So it's, it's, a, it's a gua sha board, and it's a, it's a tool that people use in traditional Chinese medicine. And you just, you hold it at a 45 degree angle on your face, and you kind of just pull up like this. And it's really gentle. You want to have some kind of oil on your face when you're doing it, or a, a moisturizer. Yeah, and you can also do, you can do your cheekbone. Huh? You can use the chat. Make sure if you're doing it, make sure that you have one hand, one hand holding, there. holding the tissue. Yep, so that's raising. correct. And then you work on And the then you do the other thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's fun. It's so fun. I feel like that's no, an no. overlooked thing too, like the, the movements in which you apply and in which you it touch is. your, your it face. Is. Like people talk about products all the time, but like the way, you know, always sort of like moving upwards. I try to copy like, you know, how it is in the facials, but I'm not perfect. But I, like I think that the, the movements are equally as important as the products themselves. I have to weigh in on that because I'm all about techniques. And uh, if I can ever, um, if I can ever leave any legacy, I would love to teach every woman how to touch their face. Okay, so so you know some people think they need to use like a super feather light, uh, uh, you know, touch. 
uh, there is a lot of misconceptions. For me, it's uh, the most important thing is you don't want to spring the skin. You don't want to move the skin that needs to spring back. You know what I mean? So you don't stretch. No, never stretch. You, never That's stretch. Important. Always upwards, smaller movements. So tiny, little, one by one, covering entire area of your face. So never skipping areas. Attaching uh, always and finishing at the beginning of your hairline. Um, and getting into that massage, think of it like a, your little deeper tissue oh, yeah. massage. It doesn't really, uh, you know what I mean? It, it's just almost, because you want to feel the muscles on the face. So especially when you are cleansing, you need to spend time cleansing. You need to really kind of um, have that moment. It's, it's, a, it's a treatment. If you are cleansing with Biologic Recherche Milky Cleanser, uh, my girlfriend who does the double cleanser, she always leaves around for five minutes. She goes like, oh my God, this is like already a treatment and hydration. So you can totally do that. You can, you can let that cleanser be on your skin, emulsify it, and spend time with your hands. And, and look at your skin. If you're ever like in doubt how you're doing, cleanse one half of the face and then do it other way on the other side so you can compare how things are. That's why, you know, I'm a stickler about like creating videos and helping and also in our treatment rooms, helping women to really learn because most of the time I have um, clients that I have to remind them, are you double cleansing at night? By double cleansing, I mean really that you're spending that extra time because we all kind of skip. Clients. Don't worry about that. Uh -huh. it's, it, is, it is, you know, I have, I have one obsession. No, we don't have a for the treatment. I have one obsession. <laughs> Somebody gave it to me. It's not. I'm sorry. That's yeah, okay, but okay. you know what? I have one obsession. It's the cold. I'm not a cold person. You can see that. But the cold is probably one of the. The cold is probably one of the best anti-aging. I mean, don't put yourself in frozen, but cold. In the morning, when you wake, you take a shower. Yes, cold. Yes, only the face, face and skull, not the rest of the body, of course. <laughs> So, what is important, it's every morning when you awake, you get your shower, and then because of the shower, the, the heat, then you go and splash your face with cold water. At night, if you have sebum, too much sebum, so go again, put some, you know, compress inside the, the fridge with a little serum, especially the serum for the, for the, for the seborrheic skin, and then put some, some cold patches over your face. That's the bad things. And don't forget sometimes, that's another story. It's not skincare, it's, it's bioenergetic. But sometimes you put your hand on the top of your skull and find out if it's very hot. At this moment, it's extremely hot. Don't forget, sometimes you put an ice on the top of your vertex. This is a very good idea when you're doing, as, when you're doing those, those patches in your face. Put a patch of cold, you know, cold patch or ice on something, on the tissue in, on the, your vertex. And it's, it's also extremely relaxing, and it's good also for the bioenergy of your face and your skull. Well, I'm all about cold uh, drinks at the end of the shower, so, <laughs> so it's kind of creating your own at home cryotherapy and, uh, yeah. and um, you know, change, changing, changing to that. So I think the, the cold rinse is really, um, first of all, it's reviving and wakes you up, but it's really beneficial for skin. Anybody who suffers from puffy eyes, I always said the first uh, solution will be ice cubes. Just run ice cubes around, you know, it's like cooling at the same time, it's the puffing, and all, all people who are suffer from puffiness, you know, ice cubes are, it's a good remedy because ice is always used if we injure ourselves or anything, think of it, like first thing you do, I, it's an ice pack. So, yeah, anything that is helping uh, to repair the skin post-injury, post-accidents, post any kind of inflammatory uh, conditions, using, uh, you know, um, ice, it's really important, but also treating your skin more gently, like, you know, uh, that's where the... Um, sheet masks come in. You know, why sheet masks became so popular uh, and they are not all created equal, obviously, because under that occlusion, your skin regenerates and can penetrate. And speaking of the sheet mask, I'm super excited to introduce um, PAGIM mask yes. from Biologic Recherche, which is amazing. If I had to put in two words what PAGIM mask 
uh, collagen mask, sheet mask do, it will be luminosity. Uh, because that's the first thing that it does. It's the radiance, it's the luminosity, it's brightening, it's evening your skin tone. And um, it's uh, hydrating as well. So I feel like now pre-holiday season, uh, going into the season of uh, you know, Christmas and parties and things like that, that's a right thing to have in your uh, medicine cabinet to, to be able to, to use that. And um, uh, uh, eye patches, so that's another thing that I absolutely love. That also comes from a, a long um, range of things that, you know, think about if you, are, if you have a scalp, you always put um, a little gauze and, uh, you know, to heal and to heal faster and so forth. So all those therapies are not uh, hocus, they are, like, they are really stem from the medicinal uh, times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you know, uh, would you, it's very funny, but this is, uh, you know, I'm not a funny man, I try to, to be serious sometimes, sorry. Uh, we took from the fashion industry, high-tech fashion industry, the very special material that we put on the on that patches on the on the PIG, just to support you know the molecules and and just infuse the molecules through your skin through your epidermis. So you know there's a lot uh, there's a lot of interaction with high tech and biologic research. Uh, we're taking you know for example for the uh, I mean we don't have it yet but we we're creating a cream and we're taking some um, some um, some material that it was used for the spaceship to reflect you know, when they go to the atmosphere to reflect the, the, the heat. So we're using now this technology into a few products. It's unbelievable what the technology give us uh, uh, as, as, a, uh, as a, um, um, you know, source That's of awesome. ideas and, crea and creativity. And again, you know, fashion industry, we did, you know, with also the patch, uh, the, the, the second skin, the second skin, we did, we used the 3D printer to try to do some material that it get go on the skin, be infused in the skin, and disappear. It's, a f it's full of amino acid. So they're all kind of different things that we're using high tech with the skincare. I also have been told that we need to uh, now go into questions. Yeah, <laughs> so it's enough about us. Go ahead, you'll be first. We need a microphone first. Was it stretch? It is. Yes. So, so Biologique Recherche yeah. prides itself on uh, having a program for post-cancer survivals, and Biologique Recherche yeah. also developed uh, yeah, a specific no, no. routine yeah. where, you know, there are certain products that are a little bit more chemical infused than the others, and sometimes we need chemicals. But for someone like you, we have a program where we use the least um, uh, chemically infused products that are yeah. most natural, they are all, that yeah. they are rebalancing, that they, they there is no, you know. yeah, there's no parabens. And as, yeah. as the girls mentioned in France, some of the products are triple checked yeah. and four times checked. So you are in the right place for that. And that's, you know, that's a beautiful actually uh, cause that Biologique is supporting for all cancer survivors. And we, we've been trained, uh, our uh, estheticians, and we have definitely few estheticians and staff that are trained to deal with that. And uh, so there are special programs for that. So obviously you're going through a specific times and there is no need for you to coat yourself in coconut oil. You, there, you should still feel good and look good and, and live your best life ever, you know? Uh, questions, someone? 
I can go first. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm actually going to say something that Ashley told me. So sorry if this is going to ruin whatever you're You're forgiven to say. already. Okay. Thank you. Um, I mean, when I was like heavily trying to figure out what was going on with my acne, one thing that um, Ashley and I would talk about was just like, a, I would cleanse my face and do all that, whatever. But a lot of times, if I, you know, because I don't wash my hair often, but I would be using that same tile, towel or like a, you know, same round of cycle of towels on my face on my hair. So I stopped drying my face completely. So now I just air dry my face or if I'm in a rush, paper towel. And I feel like that helped a lot of times because I was realizing even if I was like, a lot of that oil just stays on your towel and you don't really realize it and that was a big thing but also like changing your pillowcase because a lot of, I sleep with two like I'll wrap my hair but then I sleep with a bonnet over it so that if they're like it stays on and the oil from my hair isn't getting on my pillowcase but then I also change my pillowcase every week um, but it's just like I mean my hair is always dry so you have to put in oil but it's like you have to make sure that that's not getting on your skin yeah it's so weird because I feel like the things that I wanna wanna put in my hair to nourish it are the things that, if it's too close to my forehead, it'll I, it'll like break me out there, you know. So like honestly, one of the things that I find incredibly helpful is a headband. Like I I have like a headband that I wear literally twice a day, every day, whenever I'm doing my skincare, my makeup, whatever, and it's and it's really good because you know it's just. It keeps that oil away from my face because before I did, I had like a ring of like little bumps, you know, from the oils. Um, what else? Uh, I think that, uh, you know, there was a back, you know, this is like a long time ago when I was in high school, basically. Um, I used to actually use my shampoo. The shampoo that I used was also my face cleanser. <laughs> That's embarrassing. And, Don't tell people that. Well, you know what? You know what? It's not embarrassing. It was super useful. It's tacky, but it fine. wasn't. It wasn't like a Pantene. It was a. You know what? There's some haters yeah. over here. He's gonna just, have a heart attack just right don't now. Pay attention to them. But like, okay? I. It was like it was the Neutrogena T cell. Um, look at this. I mean, you know what? With your kind of skin, I mean, everybody should put shampoo on the skin. For sure. That's a good idea. Right? I'm not. I mean, now I wouldn't do that because it is, I mean, it was like super drying. But you know, there, but that's how I knew that I actually had um, uh, seborrheic dermatitis. I can never say that term. But anyway, it's like, it's just like a skin condition that I, I mean, I don't really have it now, but it, it made parts of my face flaky. But the reason I knew it is because when I went to my dermatologist, I was like, oh, you know, my, my scalp is flaking, but also like this parts like in the corner of my nose would flake and like it's like this whole this is like a line that sort of like goes in the center of your face that you know like you, that you have it so there definitely is this connection between like oh like you know what's going on in your hair you know to affect your skin um but just like and then the thing with the the paper towels the air drying your face lifesaver yeah you cannot you cannot use those towels that you use like to dry you know your hair because that stuff will get on your face and like get you all sorts of messed up. Um, but that's sort of like the knowledge that I have <laughs> to dispense on that. But uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully that was good for you. <laughs> In my opinion, uh, I have seen, it's, there is a huge relation between our oily scalp and our oily uh, skin or a dry and flaky scalp and a dry, so you base, it's basically the extension our skin is, 
you know, from the bottom of our feet, which is the thickest to the top of our head is the skin. And, you know, and it's just the variations of the thickness and, uh, and different things on the skin. So, so you have to kind of treat your skin entirely, the entire body. And uh, with people with tendency to oily scalp, especially women who have like thick, coarse hair, that's often like, you know, it just comes with the hereditary. You don't get wrinkles, but you have that issue when you're younger. So that's part of it. So it's really important to create a system of exfoliating your scalp and exfoliating your skin. And so the P that's why there is a P50 for the scalp. And Dr. Alouche is a stickler for scalp treatment. So if I'm in Paris and I'm getting my uh, uh, facial there, automatically they'll schedule me in for scalp treatment and, and uh, post-scalp treatment. We actually offer that here at Rescue as well. So it's always a good um, way to introduce the scalp treatment, but then being aware of it. I even use the P15-1970 all the way in the hairline. That's my, and I always tell my clients too, if you have oily scalp, get in there a little bit deeper. It's still, it's still skin. We have Michal here, who's our interior decorator, who's responsible for this gorgeous space. Guys, you have to look at his scalp. He uses P50 all over. <laughs> wave, Michal, come on. Come on, Michal, wave. He, seriously, he's like, I use my P50 everywhere. So look at that glow. So, so I'm sorry to put you on the spot, babe. <laughs> but uh, if you have any questions about the interior, he's the guy and the scalp treatment. <laughs> There you go. There you go, Tiffany. Madame? Yes. Madame. We use Prudat as no. in no. our pedicure. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Would you do that? Yeah. And P50. No, it does not. It's actually quite on contrary because it's uh, the pH is a little bit acidic, so it's almost like fixes it and it makes it amazing. You know, sometimes I have glowing. You know how you used to. In an old remedy, you use the um, uh, apple cider vinegar or anything acidic for the hair. We need that. We need that to balance the pH of the hair. The hair gets dry too, so so that's why balancing the hair as well and the scalp is really important. I'm not a huge expert on the scalp, that's why I was trying to pass it on to <laughs> Dr. Alouche, but I, you know, uh, you know I what? understand it. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to share you something. It's, it is not, it's not yet arrived, but we are working on the scalp facial. What does mean that? It will start, the facial will be done on the scalp first. Because you know what? Inside your scalp, you have the muscle where they are anchor, you know, the muscle of your face. And if you do yourself, every morning and every night, putting the cream on your face, putting your serum, and then you put your hand, you take a brace, and you go behind with your, on the hairline. And that's make like a little yoga, little, uh, how you call that, you know, with that kind of, uh, like, because they work like a fascia therapy, you know, on the muscle. And you, st you stay like that with a deep breath for one minute, for 30 seconds to one minute. It's really, I did the half face and it's really make a difference. Because you know, you need to stretch, you need to stretch the muscle also of the face. And the way to stretch the muscle of your face because they are all anchor on the on the hairline, and you, some of them are even Doctor, there. Have to turn you this way. To work, yeah. You mm -hmm. really need to work. You really need to work on your score. When you put your cream on your face, don't forget to go a little bit. You know, even some pressure, some nice pressure. That makes also a very big difference because we're doing that when we're doing the facial. Definitely. Yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> go ahead. So, so bio Biologic Research does not have retinol no. products. You know, here, here at Rescue we have, where I, you know, that's, my, that's kind of like a separate opinion. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna... Because Dr. Alouche might wanna give you, you know, opinion about well, that. Well, when we did the uh, Hydravit test, which is a cream like on the 70s, we're putting inside pro-retinol inside. 
We are not crazy about, we are not crazy about ingredients. It's not the most important thing. We are not driven, our, all our research and development is driven by one ingredient. You understand what I mean? We're not doing like all line with retinol. You find a, a wealth of different sources inside the product, from marine extract, from biotech, from, uh, from biological extract, from, of course, botanical extract. And we try to take the wealth of all the world, all different sources, to make our, our product you know, efficient. So we're not crazy about one molecule. We don't do all the trade, all the product with hyaluronic acid because it's fashion. This is not the way of we doing our research and development. So I'm not against the retinol, but you know we we find out that uh, there's peptides that are better than retinol, and it, we're using the they were using the P50. I think it's better than retinol, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, so for those people who are still breaking out and they are used to the retinol uh, uh, treatment, I think, I think it can be beneficial, uh, you know, because you can alternate. And we always say that any kind of medical treatments, even post-injectables, um, it's very important to take care of the skin. So rather than trying to do everything, Biologique is really mastered how, and, and how to do the skin balancing, which is with P50. This, so, so that's something no other company is able to, to, to make, it's the balancing. So adding some different um, treatments, you know, if people are getting injectables or people are uh, using retinol or vitamin C, I think it's fair to, you know, you're, you're at your own skin tuition type of thing and you know what skin, your skin needs at any given time. So I think it's absolutely okay. It's just, a, it's just a question of where all the other stuff fits in, okay? Anybody? Question. Okay. Uh, wait, sorry, what? What was the? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, essence, essence is basically like fancy water. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like a, the consistency is slightly thicker than water and it just, it's the step after you tone, but before you get to your serums, when you just want to, you want to prep your skin for what's coming next. And it has like a little bit of moisture in it. Um, I'm right now. I, I really like the SK2 essence. It's like crazy expensive, um, but uh, I like it. <laughs> and um, and it just it sort of it makes my skin feel so smooth. And I feel like if I don't put it on, my other serums that follow don't sit on my face and like they don't lay the way that I want them to. You know what I mean? And so, and what and the other thing that I really like about it is because I do tend to have like a very oily like center in my face. I'm a little scared in terms of like, okay, how do I moisturize? I know I need to moisturize, but I'm so particular about how I go about it because I don't want to look super greasy in five minutes. And so what I like about essences is that you can, you feel like you're moisturizing, you feel like you're, you're getting that sense of hydration without you getting like oily or super greasy or anything like that. So, so that's what that is. Um, but there's like, there's other, I mean, there's like tons of, it's, essences are like, they're not super popular here, but you know, and they're not absolutely necessary, but if you are like, you know, you wanna go to that level two or three skincare routine, you know, it's, they're part of it, uh, but yeah. So, so they basically c come from probably more Asian kind of approach to skincare, where uh, ladies really spend their time massaging their faces and doing all the steps. That is probably like a 45-minute ritual, which uh, which is great, you know. And I think for me, like Essence would be a good skin uh, product for someone who can still uh, hold all kinds of you know other steps. So uh, you can do essence or you can do a simply thinner moisturize, a thinner um, serum. It depends like layering the serum. She was telling you also about like how you start from like the thinner product to the thickest. So this way you can kind of layer it. With Biologique, sometimes with finishing serum, even like a thinner, more finishing serum, you can still put it on and it feels, gives you that glow. Mm -hmm. Anybody wants to weigh in on this? They have more questions.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we we love those testimonials. Uh, yes, this is the most amazing them. thing. Like so I was just telling Garth uh, before we started, I had this amazing day yesterday. Uh, a week ago, I met and I met this 22-year-old lady right here at the front. She realized that I'm the owner, and she, you know, she um, uh, said that I'm about to start Accutane, and uh, we actually uh, are going to kind of follow her. Uh, soon and uh, and I said wait when are you starting this and she says like I'm thinking December I said oh, December is kind of like not a great month you know before Christmas and everything I said why don't you give us few she's only 22 a few weeks and we can kind of guide you through so I set her up with like a whole regimen I give her like you know tons of samples because she's a student I don't think she can afford like the whole elaborate uh, uh, thing. I taught her how to follow those steps. And then yesterday we had a uh, chance when I was training my estheticians, we had a chance to have her as a model. And I uh, helped her to go through steps of cleansing and you know, just cleaning out her skin and kind of showing her. And obviously during that time when a statistician spends with a client for an hour, you get through like all those barriers and, you know, she opens up and, you know, we open up, first of all, we find out that we share our birthday, which is amazing. And then, and then, and then I also learned that she does not cleanse well, that she's using a, a makeup wipe, and yet, because her skin is not great, she's wearing a lot of makeup and different kinds of makeup. So we went over how you, you know, for her to start, like how to try like a less maybe occlusive makeup, not theatrical makeup, just going back to like something lighter and, and more, you know, skin friendly, and also how to cleanse that makeup and the pollution and all that stuff. So we're actually uh, taking pictures of her progress. Today she emailed me, I mean, supremely grateful uh, that her skin is already looking better and it's only a day after and, and a week after she started the program. So I am hoping we, take, we can keep her off the, the, you know, the harsh chemicals that, that Accutane, sometimes it's a godsend, if, but I would suggest only for those times when you exercise all the options where you went through like that road where you really uh, dig deep into the skincare first. Okay. The what? The what? Sorry. Emotion. I mean, yeah. There's, you know, there's there's unbelievable study um, showing the entire relationship between very, very cortical part of your brain, but also extremely archaic, very old part of your brain. You know, the brain goes with the evolution of human beings. We find out, for example, very interesting thing, that, that there is an entire relationship between the follicles itself and the brain. You know, sometimes I say to my students uh, at the med, med school, I say, you know what? Look at the skin. It's like zillion of small brains. You know why? Because when you are an embryo, the first layer, the three layers, will give the different organs for the, uh, for the fetus and then, of course, for, for the human being itself. The first layer it is, will give, later on, epidermis and brain. So that's the same origin of the skin, especially the epidermis, the interface between out, outside world and inner words, the thing that we're touching, that we, when we love somebody, when we hate somebody as well, you know, the skin, skin, skin. So this is extremely related to the brain and to the cortex. So emotion are working on different factors, like, you know, we're calling that, you know, there's different neuro, you know, hormone-like, a, a, a product that they are sensitized by our neurons, and they can they have some receptor into the skin, and also from the skin to the the brain. So the relationship is this is why in BR, because of the founder, my mother was founding the uh, French school of sophrology. She was a psychologist and also physiotherapist, and did also the cranial osteopathy. So the behavioral approach on during the treatment is extremely important.
We look at the client, we talk with the client, we, we, we define a beauty project, but it's not only a beauty project. It, it is a project for their life. You know, the way of they eat, the way of they, they relax, why you don't, you know, and it goes on all kind of different factors, and it's extremely, extremely wide, and hopefully wise. So, yeah, it's, you know, you're laid down, you're laid down for, exactly. for an hour or two hours. I mean, where, where do you find the time? Where do you go to the doctor? I'm the doctor. You go for 10 minutes and then rah, go. And then go. You know, so here you have one hour and a half, two hours to just dedicate to yourself. Just to make you happy, to make your skin healthy. I mean, there's nowhere else. <laughs> yeah, I, I, thought, I totally agree to that because... I try to I try to get a facial once a month and to sort of practice what I preach. And each time I get a facial, I usually try all my different estheticians just to to kind of you know randomly check. But any esthetician I try, I love because all of them have something unique. We all have something unique. Every woman, every man, every human being, we are special. There is no, you know, I mean, we are, we are very unique. So the exchange of that energy between, yeah, uh, between right. two people uh, that is happening, it's so magical. And uh, for me, that's why, like, I, I always tell my estheticians, I never get tired. I used to do uh, work 10 hours. I would never get tired, quite on the contrary, I would be energized. From, uh, from that contact, from, from a touch. And I don't know how many of you work that close with other people on any level. When we write, with, you know, our words have meaning, our, our um, uh, touch has meaning, our eyes have meaning. Any, so I think in this world where we are, I think that's, you know, that's why I decided to open this big facility so I can touch in some ways more people, I think. <laughs> Maybe you girls want to finish on that. <laughs> um, Thank you. Thank you. Well.